grew up in El Torino. We live two, three blocks away from here. Every time I pass by the street, I look and I'm like, oh my God, these people have such a great location. To see how it's changed within the last three years, people even come in, they're like, oh my God, what is this place? El Sereno has never had a farm stand or a farmer's market, even though some other neighborhoods around here do. But even the other neighborhoods around here, their farmer's markets have been getting smaller. When I moved in here, I didn't really have a lot of options to go to, or I had to drive to Alhambra. I would have to sometimes travel back to Highland Park because I know Highland Park does have a lot of options. So just having something local for me was important that I could just walk to my local neighborhood store and possibly find this or find a certain item. And so we just want to put some more momentum into that movement of, hey, fresh farm fruits and vegetables still belong in neighborhoods like this. They don't just belong in the more affluent neighborhoods of LA. We are so happy for Taylor because she's amazing. She's getting to see all the changes. The village is because I wanted to give back. My father being in the produce business, and he's always wanted to give back to the city. And so that's what we've always been, me and my dad. This used to be a mobile gas station in 1954 it was built. I used to be here at 4 in the morning making sandwiches. And I used to take about 200 sandwiches before 8 o'clock. I've been here for about 22 years living here. I wanted to kind of keep the same kind of look from what it had and not change it completely, but just kind of build on what's already here. One of my things I like to cook with, especially as a vegetarian is that I like to cook with colors. Yeah. I like to make sure that I have lots of colors represented, um, you know, in the rainbow. So I'm a big fan of providing something for everybody. Vegan items, veggie items. We thought it was a great idea with Taylor to bring in a chef that would help us learn how to build a menu for the vegan items. Today we walked through creating a vegan and vegetarian menu for them and did a cooking demo with their chefs, teaching them how to create these meals and also substitute some of their current menu items for some plant-based and vegetarian items. We've always had some vegan options, but there's so much that we didn't know about. Why would you switch your menu to a vegetarian and vegan options is because there's so much more that you can do, you know, with those ingredients. Look at this fresh food. I'm so excited about that because that's going to give you a whole different dynamic of your menu. It changes everything. Getting to learn these vegetables and stuff that I had never tried before or I had never thought of putting into certain items, that's been a, an awe moment for me. Say, look at the camera, say hello. Hello. <laughs> And Rachel's been with us how long? Uh, almost a year coming this summer. Almost a year. You have to have a team that you can rely on. It's it's a lot of a lot of family members, even the people in the kitchen, like we brought on to their family friends. None of them are strangers and I feel like that really helps the dynamic in and the flow of how this place runs is everybody knows each other, everybody wants to help each other out and it's really family. Yeah, I remember when they brought you and Linda told me, she's like, I have a new chef, she has all these new ideas, I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah. These are the two queens of the kitchen, they're awesome. They, they, they are the backbone of this place. This place is actually a, a very positive area because you have tradition of generations passing through here. An area that uh, a lot of blue-collar workers lived in, an area where people could afford, also a community that stuck together, went through a lot of changes, a lot of times, you know. As we grew up, we kind of always got together and uh, helped one another, so it's, it's a really strong community. Yes, sir. Come here. This is my ambassador. Waddle. Okay, come here. 
and, and, and the chef back there is, is Dave. Boy, he'll come out. Diamond Dave. Come out. Diamond Dave. Diamond Dave. I think this is a normal backyard party area or whatever. It's in mean, his house. It's like, because we have so much fun. Ta -da! He's, he's the master chef. For us. One day, one day I'll have one of these. <laughs> I'm really passionate about small business owners feeling stable and secure and not feeling like they have to worry and not feeling like they are the little guy in this competition with big stores and big corporations. If this had been sold to a big corporate company, Kenny would no longer be Kenny. Kenny wouldn't be able to sit here all day and hang out with us and talk to customers or his friends from high school and all this. It would have taken away that community special feeling that this place gives to customers. It is really close to my heart in order to, and for our communities to invest into corner markets, into bodega markets, and also black and brown owned markets as well. It is something that our community really needs to support local businesses, but also to support each other and to provide healthy, nutritious ingredients and menu items so that we can live healthy lifestyles. It's not just about growing food and getting it to someone and, and that transactional nature, but there's real power and beauty in getting food to people who need it. I'm constantly telling people this place gives you a great sense of community. And you feel that when people walk in and they take a look around, they're like, I had no idea you were here. And then they come by the next weekend with their family members and they sit and enjoy coffee on a Saturday morning. And that's kind of the culture we wanted to to create. We like to say we brought the community to the community. Having, you know, events or having our farmers market, I think those things are really important for the community. I'm grateful that I took the time to help my family out because I see how much it's flourished and I'm, makes me proud to see them happy.